we cannot enter silence. The light of the moon shines cold, its edges hard and keen. Within its crescent seem seven stars, but it cannot be so. Alone, like unto the crescent moon, are many and nameless. Their plight is ours, and hiding a power that they themselves are not aware. For humans upon the earth are the power of it, and our limits are bound only far away. Some already dwell in a far land beneath the trees. Their starlight shines the western seas. Ours here is our realm, and is the heart of the greater realm that shall be. <laughs> it is ready for us. The ages of the world have ended, and the new age is begun. For each man is to order the beginning of the new age, his new age, preserving only what must be preserved. Much must now pass away. The time comes when the dominion of men is that higher place, all we see round about us, farther than can be, is ours. And there is a king, a lovely king, a blessing king, power equal to goodness and to his shining majesty. Memory is not what the heart desires, that is only a mirror clear to the king, but we have yet to find our way forward. The splendors of the world are humbled and ourselves mumbled to obscurity. But that the world and all our lives, lives are held present, but absolved and absent guilt such that we see ourselves and others as you see us in your grace. Even that the eternal Logos, the Son of God, has not communicated to human nature some share of your majesty, as we supposed on earth to rise and rise to the ideal man. For there are in you traits incommunicable, majesty and your aseity, your self-existence. Neither can we be omni-anything of power or presence, of holiness. We cannot become what we never were. We, cannot, we can project ourselves to be something, but fail before your all-encompassing sovereignty. Of your eternity and other aspects, all is silent. We cannot enter silence. Amen.